If you know what this is, put it in the comments. Everybody is Lady Led. You might have guessed that this is a cacao pod. In other words, this comes from the plant that makes the seeds that makes chocolate. And the reason I've got to get it planted now is because it's starting to go bad. I kind of gave up on exotic plants like this, and I really don't know what the outcome is going to be. So, um, but because of what's going on with supplies and all that, I started noticing that my dark chocolate that I normally get the 90% and up, um, I couldn't find it in the store. So we shall see y'all. Let's get them planted. All right, these seeds, they they need some warmth to get going, and it tends to get a little chilly in here. Um, so I'm gonna be using this seedling heating mat. I'm gonna be using my Jiffy seed starting little pots. These have really been coming in handy. I got these on sale for like $2. And um, I've been reusing them too. So um, the ones that I can reuse, like where seeds didn't sprout, I just reuse them and um, they've just been real convenient. And you know, I liked, I really liked my peat moss uh, pods, um, but they, they were getting too expensive. So for me, this, and then I've been filling it with uh, coconut core, that's really been doing the job. So, if I can keep finding these on sale, this might be my permanent um, go-to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these filled up, get them set up over here, and then I'll show you what it looks like inside. I'm gonna be recycling my um, my lettuce containers. Like I've really be, been getting a lot of use out of these. And I can usually get one, and a half strip. So let's see. All right, let's get some get it filled with dirt. All right, so I've got two two pans filled with fifteen cells. Um each so this is a total of 30 i don't really know how many seeds are going to be in the pot but that's why we're going to go ahead and take a look now all right we're going to get started with this pot now the thing about growing cacao from seeds is that they have to be fresh they have to be fresh out the pot so even if you buy like the seeds to make your own cocoa powder. All you can do is use those to make cocoa powder. You cannot use those to sprout because the seeds are only viable straight out of this pot. So that's why it's so important for me to go ahead and get them out of this. This already may have done some damage to whichever seeds are here. So I'm, in fact, since since this is already messed up right here, this is where I'm going to start because you have to be gentle. You don't want to cut these seeds. They are very, um, they're very touchy. So I'm going to go ahead and as gently as I can start cracking this open. So these seeds on this end are probably going to sprout more likely than the ones on this end. But I'm going to plant them, as many of them as possible. Okay, let's pull it out. 
That looks like some corn. Oh my goodness, look, that one is already sprouting. Wow, that's what it looks like inside. Nat tried to get to me. Okay, so this one is gonna be the first one I'm gonna try to plant, because it's already letting out a shoot. And I'm just gonna gently try to pull away from all this molded stuff. These gnats in here, oh my goodness. Look at that, already sprouting. Yeah, let's get him in some, some dirt right away. All right, so here's my seed that's sprouting. But in addition to that, I've got two, four, I've got exactly 30 seeds, y'all. 30 good looking seeds. All right, and since this one already has a sprout, this is gonna be the first one I plant. And I'm just going to plant this side down. days later this is this is what we got in there that one's coming out I think uh, maybe it was that one there's one there's one that one's out that one's on its way here's another pushing its way up another one and there's one Like little Seymour's. <laughs> All right, here's some more progress. We got some more coming up. This one is letting out its leaves in the middle. That one. Okay. All right, so far so good. It's starting to look like real plants now. We still got some sprouting. I transplanted it into this pot, so it's been in this pot for maybe a couple of months. But I want to actually put it in a bucket because it's warming up and that'll give it more space. So if I get behind on the watering, it'll have more soil to work with. So we're gonna get this planted. All right, so I got this chocolate plant. It has graduated to a five gallon bucket. Now that it's warm, I'm hoping to see more growth. I'm gonna feed it uh, with some fertilizer, some organic fertilizer, probably some chicken poop or something. Um, I'm gonna water it really well. The good thing about a chocolate plant is that it doesn't need direct sunlight. So that means if I bring it indoors, I should be able to set it in a really sunny spot and it should be okay. Or if worse come to worse, I can use some grow lights. But to me, it's worth babying this plant. For one, the, the health benefits of raw cacao beans are endless. Plus, you can make chocolate. <laughs> 
No chocolate is actually good for you. It's the sugar that's not. So anyway, that's it. I'll update you on this chocolate plant. You've seen it go from seed to sprout to tiny tree. We're going to see how, how tall it gets, how long it takes. And y'all, if I actually get some chocolate pods, you ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. <laughs> so, all right. It's Lady Led. Thanks for watching.